So let's say I want to find the centre of mass of this compound shape, where we've got a rectangle and a triangle. Now, the um, first thing is to notice that this shape is symmetrical. So there is a line of symmetry going down here. So that means that the centre of mass must lie on that line. So you could just focus in on the y's here and the y coordinates um, rather than doing both the x's and y's because we know the centre of mass is going to lie on, a, on this line and so have x coordinate of 4. However, I'm going to run through it doing both the x's and y's. Okay, So I'm going to split this up into two shapes. So we've got the triangle at the top, so that's going to be shape A, and we have the rectangle with shape B. So I'm going to build up my table, A and B, and I've got the mass and total. I've got the x coordinate of the centre of mass, the y coordinate, the mass times x, and the mass times y. OK, so um, first of all, the mass of the triangle. So I need the area of the triangle, so half base times height. So we've got 8 times by 3, so 8, 16, 24. Half that is 12. So this will be 12 k. The area of B is 8 times 6, so 48, so that's 48k. Right, the centre of mass of the triangle. Now, I'm going to do it by finding the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates. So using the formula we saw in the previous video. So 0 plus 4 plus 8 is 12, divided by 3 is 4, as we expected. And 6 plus 9 plus 6 is 21, divided by 3 is 7. OK, uh, then for B, we're going to have centre of mass at 4, 3. OK, so we've got 12K times 4 is going to be 48K. 12 lots of 7 is 84, so that's 84k. Then we've got 48 times 4, so 192k. And then 3 lots of 48, so 144k. So in total here we've got 60k. Uh, 48k plus 192k is going to be 240k. Then we've got uh, 84 plus 144, so 228k. So the average of the x's had better be 4. It's 240k over 60k, which is 4. Excellent, as expected. And then the average of the y's would be 228k over 60k. So 228 divided by 60, and so that's 3.8. So the centre of mass is at 4, 3.8.